Hey everybody, just have a quick video for you. I was shooting on my old Manfrotto tripod here and using a reproduction arm, and I noticed that things were just a little bit wobbly. And I got kind of feeling around and I noticed that the actual platform on top of the center column was a bit wobbly. And then also I could like turn the, uh, the thread here just with my bare hands. Um, and I got wiggling a little bit more and the platform just came straight off. So I'll go ahead and just show you kind of the mechanism that holds this on um, so that you can put it back on if yours has come all the way off. And then I'll also just show you how to tighten things back down. So the way this kind of works, and this should be one piece. It's in three pieces because mine's broken, but it doesn't matter. It'll still hold. Um, they just manufacture it in one piece to make it easier to put together. But you have these three kind of wedge-shaped teeth that go in here. And you can see that they're actually got this actually the wrong way around actually you can see there's a key in there and this is supposed to be in one big section with the um, with a gap on one side so it should be like this and that key will be on that that gap side but so this is basically just what holds it on when you tighten this bolt down it pushes those little wedge shapes out and clamps up against the outside of the center column. So what we'll need to do here is just drop this back on and it might help to loosen the bolt further than what it is to get this back on, but you'll just kind of want to pinch and squeeze those wedges in there and drop it down on there. And it may take some wiggling and finagling here, but it should just drop all the way down onto the, the center column tube. Um, so now the bit you need to tighten it, and this is the only like special part you need, is you'll need, so you'll need a, a socket, in this case it's a 13 millimeter socket, and then a socket wrench. The special part is you need an extension that is long or longer than your center column. In this case, this is an 18 inch center column, so I have a 20 inch extension. Um, Basically, all you'll need to do is, in this case, we're going to take this off of the tripod. So you'll just want to hold this in place with a free hand. Let me bring the socket in, in here. Um, so you'll just take the end of the center column and feed your socket down through there. Just make sure that your socket wrench is turned the right way. Just tighten it by hand first, and then you'll just tighten it as tight as you can while holding it. And this will keep that platform tight on there when you do the next step. Um, of course, you can't tighten it too much because it'll just turn in your hands because it's aluminum and slippery. But what we'll do next, let me set this down. What we'll do next is we'll take the center column and we'll just put it in upside down. And one thing to note when you're putting these in either right side up or upside down, um, there's a section on one of the rounded sides that is thicker, and that needs to be opposite your clamping knob here. Um, and that is because this is stronger, it's intended to go like this so that the, the clamping load on it um, doesn't bend the tube. You'll see, like, if you have it the wrong way, you'll get nicks down the, uh, the rounded side of the tube there. Anyway, we'll just tighten that down, and then we'll bring our socket wrench back in. And what we need to do is just feed this down through there, kind of give it a little twist, so that it engages with the, the head of the bolt down there. And then we just go ahead and tighten it. And you don't need to go crazy on this, but I usually like to give it, you know, a good click. Um, I'm sure there's a torque spec for it, but as long as you just have it nice and snug, you know, give it where, you know, giving a little tug doesn't turn it any further, um, that should do. But um, and what that does is it just, like I said, it spreads those wedges apart so that they clamp up against the clamp up against the walls of the center tube. Um, and then of course, you know, just flip the column back over and you should be good to go. Um, like I said, this is an older Manfrotto tripod, uh, specifically it's a 3221WN, and the specific version of it is a 055WNB, but newer Manfrotto tripods most likely use the same system. So if, you're, if your platform is wobbly, um, you know, get you a long socket extension, give it a shot. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have any further questions, just leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to, to try and answer to the best of my ability. 
Um, but yeah, hope that helped you out. Um, thanks.